Antonio Alonso. I'm the Regional Chief Architect for the GSA National Capital Region. Uh, my role is to review designs and approve design work that we, um, that we hire our architects to work on our buildings. Again, we do uh, large new construction and renovation projects and uh, my role here as an architect with the government is to manage the design and lead a team of other architects, engineers also, historic preservationists, interior designers, all working on these projects and reviewing them. Buildings uh, have a great impact on our environment and one-third of all greenhouse gases come from buildings. Uh, one of our favorite things that we've been doing is using uh, green roof technology on many of our projects. Uh, when it rains, what happens here is this area of green absorbs water and doesn't allow it to run into the gutters and down into the street where it gets um, mixed up with the sewer system. It also keeps it, the roof cooler than a, norm, than a traditional roof and so it serves as a form of insulation to the building. So what you, well, was used here at, at One Constitution were uh, two types of uh, lighting uh, that were different. And one is called a compact fluorescent lamp and uh, it is a fluorescent lamp that is very energy efficient and lasts a really long time. The other is something called an LED light, a light emitting diode. These types of lights produce very little heat, they're cool to the touch, uh, they last a very long time, and they're very durable. And they're also environmentally conscious because they're made without any type of toxic materials such as mercury. The architecture is an art and a science, so mathematics is very important. Uh, geometry, for example, is fundamental to understanding and it's a skill that all architects need to have. So study your geometry. For more information on cool government careers, visit kids.gov.